What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. All right, so this is a real requested video. They wanted to see the Vengeance versus the Vengeance, but they didn't want me to fly either ship. They wanted me to be in a cloaked ship and just let the ships duke it out. So we'll do that first and then we'll do a well, three versus three, AI versus AI, and then I'll take charge of one and go against another. All right, let's get started with this. At some point, I might modify the script for the Vengeance to make it a little more realistic. Uh, currently, its pulse weapons are... They do way too much hull damage. Like, it's not even points. It's just... It destroys large chunks of hull. So that translates into ridiculously high damage. Alright, the battle started. Let's just pay attention. All right, so far the the red one has 60% dorsal shields. The one on our side has more shield damage, but so far neither has a clear advantage. Their forward shield is draining. All right, so far the friendly one has a slight advantage. Oh yeah, and the person that made that mod, they made its weapon silence. I guess they wanted it to be more realistic, I guess. <laughs> this is an interesting dogfight. Alright, the friendly one is taking heavy damage. Wow, that was interesting. So, those pulse weapons just obliterated the star drive section and then the cells on the enemy vengeance. I'm curious to see how this one turns out. Ah, so the red one doesn't have impulse engines at the moment. Yep, so it's pretty much at the mercy of this one coming around and just finishing off the red one. I'll give this a minute before I, I guess, decook and finish off the red one. Don't want to take too much time here, but let's see. There we go. It's coming in for the finishing kill. Alright, the friendly one, I guess it's recharging its weapons before it does another run. Yeah, I think this battle is going to be over before those impulse engines get repaired. And that phaser beam is not going to do anything to the blue vengeance. Its shields are already a little too strong for phaser fire to be of any effect. Come on, come on, open fire. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna order the vengeance on the friendly side to open fire. Ah, uh, never mind. It's doing it on its own. But that's not enough. It needs to just concentrate fire. Yeah, the AI in this game, sometimes it's so bad. Alright, let me just order it to attack. So I noticed the ship seems to slide around space instead of actually maneuvering the, ro the way the other ships move. That must be something also in the script. Maybe inertial stabilizers or something, I don't know. Alright, that didn't work either, so... Sending orders. Let's see. Yeah, if you guys can see, the overall ship direction is like this way, but the ship is facing this way. Maybe its thrusters aren't enough to compensate for the ship's mass. Alright, there we go. Alright. The Allied Vengeance destroyed the enemy Vengeance. That's it. we got him. That was interesting, so let's do that again, but I'm gonna skip that 3 versus 3 battle. I'm afraid that's gonna take forever. So I'm just gonna hop on board a Vengeance, and let's see how well I do. Red alert, shields up. I'm waiting for 50 kilometers before I open fire. There we go. The forward shield has failed. And that's that. <laughs> that's it. We got him. I guess the reason that was so fast is because of this. Let me show you. So when the AI is firing, the pulses are like that. But when a human is firing and you're pressing... Alright, so I have my pulses mapped to buttons, A and S. So when I press them together simultaneously, it's almost like a constant stream of disruptor fire, or whatever those pulses are called. So you're able to do way more damage than the AI ever could. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. This was fun. Thank you so much for this idea. This was uh, actually pretty interesting, watching the AI fight itself. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. If you have any battle requests, drop it in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.